Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you guys with Monday Morning Chit Chat. It's Monday, Monday, Monday. And it's time to start it back over. But guess what? We are almost at Christmas. I'll be glad when it comes and goes <laughs> so I can stop spending money and get back to my thrifty coupon and stuff. I was wondering where that state trooper was running to. He was speeding past my house. And I guess it was a wreck up here. I'm just assuming it's a wreck. Yeah, it was a wreck. Because I'm like, where is he trying to get to? Let me slow up so I can see what's going on. Sorry, you guys. Y'all had to just wait because I had to drive slow and look through and try to see what went on, but it looked like a little fender bender. Somebody hit someone in the back. I was wondering where he was speeding to. I'm like, my God, why is he speeding this fast on this highway? It was like, ooh, but I guess he was going to get there. Um. Anyway, back to me and my needing to get back to my thrifty shopping again, okay? Like, low out of pocket kind of shopping because <laughs> something about Christmas just takes it just over the edge for me okay but I will say one thing this year that might have been different from the years in the past I have been taking time to actually get things for myself okay I've been buying for other people but I stop putting myself last all the time because I work hard and my kids are grown and I feel like I mean I'm a giver I don't mind giving help and do whatever but it's got to come a point in time when you have to pamper yourself and I've been doing that this season uh, this year I really have I've been pampering myself and buying myself things that I want and like if I see it and I like it I've been getting it so yeah, I said this is Christmas present to me, to me, to me, to me. And that's what I've been doing. Now, on in the news. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is this kind of TMI. So you might want to turn it off. It's not a bad TMI though, but it's a little TMI. Okay, so you know we have the Victoria's Secret Rewards cards. But by the way, if you're holding on to yours, waiting on a good deal, they expire on the 17th, which is Thursday, I think. So you need to go ahead on and spend them so you don't lose them or get caught up in the hustle and bustle and all the good stuff is gone because some people got a million shop your way reward cards. Not shop your way, but secret reward cards. I mean, nah. I wound up with, um, I mean, I got it all. I got six the first time. And then I got... Was it seven? And that's all I got from all I sent out. So, next year I'm going to be prepared. Oh, I heard on Instagram that they do it in April as well. So, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for April, okay? So, those of you who said, oh, I wish I could have got in on it. But you didn't. April. I saw somebody say it usually comes around in April. So we're going to keep our eye on April. That's my birthday month. So we can do celebrate all of it together. Secret rewards and my birthday. Okay. Anyway. When in Victoria's Secret I said okay. I've been buying for everybody else. I said I'm going to get me some of these panties. And my thing was. I know I can't wear them now. There's no way I can't wear these panties. I cannot wear them. I know I can't. So this would be my goal to help push me to lose weight is buy me a pair of Victoria's Secret panties. Lo and behold. Lo, let me tell you again. Lo and behold. I said, let me try a pair on because I got the kind of stretchy pair. 
and lo and behold, I can wear these panties that fit up on me, and they are so comfortable. I'm like, I it's this thing called fat girl syndrome. And anybody who has been overweight, obese, and lost weight, y'all know what I'm talking about. Your mind perception of yourself is that you are way bigger. Look, like my mom say, great big. <laughs> yeah, you think that you're great big. And you don't see your body for what it is and the changes that it is. Yes, I still call myself Fatty Patty because yes, I am Fatty Patty. I still got to lose some weight to get down to where I want to get to, okay? Um... But you don't, you don't, you can't see yourself in those sizes because you haven't been in those sizes in so long. And some of us have never been in that size <laughs> until you actually lost weight. So, um, yeah. So uh, you can't see yourself. I know I couldn't see myself until I actually lost weight. I still can't see myself in them because I told y'all what that was going to be my goal. That was going to be my weight loss goal. And lo and behold, that didn't happen because I could wear them. So, you know, I'm saying that because that's a non-scale victory for me that I can wear a pair of Victoria's Secret panties. I already knew I could wear the bra. Now I can wear the panties. So. And I told y'all my free gift that they sent me. I think that stuff just runs huge. Because I'm telling y'all, I got a, was it a medium or a large? Because they didn't have my size. And I said, I'll just give it away to somebody because I know I can't wear it. When that shirt came, it was so huge. And I put it on. And it's huge on me. I mean, I got room in that shirt. It ain't tight like I thought it was going to be. I have room in that shirt. So I'm like, wow. Yes, it was like a wow moment. Like, I cannot believe I. It's like I can't believe I can wear them. And I could. So, yeah. So, I'm so happy, 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 happy. <laughs> okay. I can't sing it and I can't hold it in tune, but I know I'm, I'm happy. Okay. So, anyway. That was a shocker in itself. Fatty Patty still got to get back on track, though. And quick, fast, and in a hurry. And I got to come up with a game plan. I need to start meal prepping. So, my thing is after Christmas. Because there's no need of me pretending like I'm going to do right for Christmas. Because I'm not. Because it's going to be so much food. I'm not going to do right. But I will, I'm going to start seriously back on the weight loss journey. Getting back to the exercising. I do know that there are pool classes that are offered at the gym that I've been paying membership for for this last past year and have not stepped foot in there so I my plans are to get back in the gym and if I have to get up early in the morning to make this class I'm gonna go by there and get a copy of the pool schedule and I am going to get back into the pool because that's so much better for me I know I'm gonna be tired all day at work because once you work out in that pool, you are tired. The afternoons, I was tired. I wish they would do a later pool class so that the ones who are getting off later could actually attend because I would definitely do that class late in the afternoons when I got off of work because when I get off at 5, the classes are normally... Um, there's one that's 5.30 and then one that's 6 o'clock. They run for an hour. So if I get there, get dressed out, the 5.30 class is going to be about over. On my 6 o'clock day, on my 6 o'clock weeks, rather, um, most definitely by the time I get there, it'll be over with. So, you know, it's kind of disappointing and disheartening. I think maybe if I bring my suit and just switch out at work, put it on underneath clothes, and then I can just strip my clothes down, wet down and then get into the shower I mean get into the pool that might be better for me I, I'm, I'm, I don't know so I know I got to do something I know the pool works best for me and that's why I keep holding on to that memory
leadership because I know that pool works for me. So I'm going to um, try to work out a schedule or something. The way I am set up, it is so hard for me to get up here. If, it's the, if that class, I think somebody said at 6, I'm like, I can't get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and get to no pool. But I'm 6 o'clock in the morning to work out. <laughs> no. Oh my God, can you see me? Time to make the donuts. Oh my God, at 6 o'clock in the morning. But there's showers and everything there so I can shower and I can freshen up and, you know, do everything I need to do before going into work. So it's going to be good because I can tie, tie my hair up and not actually put my wig in the pool. I need something to put on my head so I don't have to put my wig in the pool because I was putting my wig and my weeds in the pool. I didn't like that. Now, then when I get by somebody who's working out like they um, or swimming in the lanes behind us like they marathon swimmers, kicking that water, getting that... Um, Chlorine water in my wig and my hair be smelling like chlorine. I'd be mad. I'd be like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> my God, we're exercising. We are not marathon swimmers. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, let me stop talking. I've done too much. Back to the shopping. I did Bath and Body Works the weekend. Didn't do no hauls because y'all know what I was doing. Hand soap. Then I went back yesterday because I thought I had a 40% coupon. I don't know why I thought 40% that thing was for 20% off. But it still worked out to be the same as if I had to use the 10 off for 30 with what I got. So, um, I still wound up paying the same for it. So I went in and got um, buy three, get three. Buy three body splashes and get three free. So I did that. If I had been thinking, I would have got little small bottles. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I thought when I was in the store, I fell in love with a thousand wishes. I smelled it and I liked it, but on my body, I'm, I don't know if I'm liking it. It seems a little strong. I like a little kind of faint, some strong, some faint. But I, um, yeah. So I got that because at work I like to wear like the little light scent body wash. I don't wear my good perfumes. And what else did I do? Bath my oh belts. I got me a couple of sweaters and a pair of jeans. And then I treated myself to some Dosi and Gabbana. The one. I love Dosi and Gabbana the one. Um got some for a gift for my birthday one year. And mine finally ran out because I just used that on, you know, around and out of every day. Perfume, like I told you, okay. It finally ran out, so I went and got me another gift set. And, um, yeah. So that worked out good. And let's see what else. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. <laughs> Y'all watch Country Country Wayne on Facebook. Hey, my babies. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's it. That's about all I do. Oh, I did do Walgreens. And I was able to find five of those wax melt warmers. Probably can't find any anywhere in the county. And now, I didn't get them from my area. I went shopping in another area. So, yeah. But one truck where I live at, they said their truck will be in on Thursday. So I'm going to check back there Thursday night and see if they got any in. If not, I'm going to price match at Walmart and get the rest of mine. I'll just pay $2 out of pocket. But I don't want to let my $5 coupons expire because they expire, I think, on the 20th. So, yeah. Waiting around for Walgreens to only get one or two at a time on their truck. It's ridiculous. I mean, really is. If you're going to have a sale, you need to have those things there. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so I can't whine about that. But as always, remember to do what? Give God some praise. Give Him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to be able to get it right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.